So this is a case of a 30 year old male who uh, went for an evaluation of his uh, thoracic spine for some uh, mid uh, back pain and uh, during the MRI scan they identified T2 hyperintense lesion in the liver and so he was uh, asked to do an ultrasound. So we are right now looking at a plain ultrasound 2D uh, image of uh, the right lobe of the liver without any IV iodinated contrast. Uh, you can see a fairly well-defined homogeneously hyperechoic lesion this one over here it's less than two centimeter in size and there's one more out here which is again of similar morphology well-defined uniformly hyperechoic uh, it doesn't seem to be exerting any uh, appreciable mass uh, effect on the liver uh, the uh, there is no um, abnormal margins like a hypoechoic halo or uh, anything to suggest that there is some sort of reaction in the liver uh, to these lesions okay so typically the most commonly encountered lesion in the liver which is hyperechoic is a hemangioma the liver hemangioma it is the most common benign liver lesion it has high incidence in uh, females more than males most commonly affected is the right lobe it is often solitary and tends to be usually less than 3 cm in size. When it is more than 10 cm in size, we call it a giant hemangioma. It is often asymptomatic and uh, due to the increased incidence of uh, uh, screening with ultrasound, uh, for a multitude of reasons, we encounter them. And also, you know, for patients who go in for cross-sectional imaging, it is often detected incidentally. Some patients like this patient in particular, happen to have more than one uh, uh, liver lesion. So what are the differentials for hyperechoic liver lesions? The most common lesion is the benign hemangioma. Uh, you can also have a fat-rich adenoma. Focal fatty change in a normal liver can appear as a well-defined hyperechoic area. Angiomyolipoma and focal nodular hyperplasia are the other differentials. Whenever you are looking at an, a little more elderly patient or in the cases of a known malignancy, always consider metastasis and one of the frequent uh, hyperechoic uh, metastatic focus is from the colon. Other differentials include the renal, the thyroid and also cholangiocarcinoma. If you were to choose one particular uh, problem solving tool which would give you the best uh, uh, accuracy, that would be the MRI. Do the MRI which because it has a sensitivity and specificity over 90%. All you need to do is use IV uh, gadolinium as an agent, do a triphasic study and you can for sure identify it as a hemangioma. Uh, descriptive pattern would be the peripheral puddles of contrast that has a centripetal filling in uh, and also appearing very bright on a T2 sequence.